Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 as we're going to be starting a new campaign today. Uh, so this is going to be like our 15th or 16th series, Hearts of Iron 4 series on the channel. That's quite a bit. We have been playing this game for a long time now, since launch. And uh, we've already played as all the major countries. And I knew I wanted to play as a major country for this campaign. So we're going to be playing as somebody we've already played. And I made the decision that we're going to be playing uh, a campaign that I've been wanting to play ever since Waking the Tiger came out. Uh, when it first released on off camera, I played uh, as Germany and I did the opposing Hitler route, you know, a return of the Kaiser, did the Civil War and I had an absolute blast, guys. It was a lot of fun and I couldn't wait to be able to show it to you guys. Uh, I didn't want to do it immediately after having just done it. Uh, plus, I was playing it at the same time as we started that British series. Uh, so, so ever since then, I've been wanting to to uh, do this on the channel. And so that's what we're gonna be doing for this series, guys. We're gonna be doing a, another German campaign, but rather than uh, going with Hitler and the Nazis as we did last time, we're gonna be going uh, with the Kaiser. We're gonna oppose Hitler, we're gonna have the Civil War. Should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it, guys. Uh, for those of you that are coming to the series late, um, you know, months down the road, this is the 1.5.4 Cornflakes patch with the Waken the Tiger expansion. So uh, I always get like lots of people coming on the, the uh, uh, the videos from, you know, in the future and, you know, wondering why so many things are different from their version. And that's why, because it's older. So just be aware of the version. All right. So let's go ahead and start a campaign. I went ahead and uh, jumped in real quick and tested a few things. And I know what we're going to have this set up as. So we're going to be playing on a regular setting. I know that we did elite last time or we did with the, the Soviet Union and we're not going to do it again, guys. Uh, if you want to watch an elite campaign, go check that Soviet Union one out. That is with Waking the Tiger. Uh, I'm not doing it again, guys. It's, it's, it doesn't make it more challenging. It just makes things uh, take longer. Um, makes things more tedious. So I don't I don't really want to play elite, guys. I, I, that's why I don't usually tend to use these. Instead, we'll use the custom settings here. And we're going to strengthen. And since we don't really know who exactly we're going to be fighting, because uh, obviously it's going to be a much different campaign than you know traditional Germany one, uh, I think we should go ahead and strengthen everybody up by two. Normally, I only strengthen who our enemies are going to be. Uh, I might give our allies one tick or something like that. Uh, so we're just going to strengthen all the AI up to uh, by two points. Gives them some significant bonuses and makes them a little more challenging. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to I'm going to tick them all up by four. It's not going to be this one though. <laughs> we're just going to do twos on this one. Uh, so let's go ahead and do uh, Iron Man mode off and historical AI focuses are also going to be off because we want this to be a very different campaign. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into it. I think everything is good to go. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take that national focus immediately, guys, the opposing Hitler national focus. I just want to get into the Civil War because the Civil War does change everything. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. Let's go ahead and get oppose Hitler. So we're going to grab that up. Uh, we're going to do all our research as well. Um, we should probably do industrial research as always get that construction one and then we're also going to go ahead and get the engineering electronic electronic mechanical engineering and then for this last one hmm you know what this would actually help us immediately in the civil war uh we'll get it probably before the civil war is over so let's get that i don't see any other ones that would help us right away that are that we can unlock right now that don't require us to build some equipment or uh, change up our unit designs. I think that's the only one, guys. Well, I guess we could do land doctrines. That would help be helpful as well. Um, but yeah, let's go and get this one. I think that would be nice to have. And I don't think uh, the other Civil War uh, side will have it. All right, so we want to go ahead and build some shit as well. Uh, we're going to want to build on this side of the country. That's the thing I tested. I couldn't remember <laughs> which side the Civil War takes place on. And it is, uh, they get this side. So... Because uh, it's been a while, you know, obviously several months since I played that campaign. So uh, we're going to build on just this side for right now. Uh, make sure that everything we uh, build goes into our hands. And we'll just do 80% locations. Obviously, we're not going to get any of this shit probably done in time uh, before the Civil War. We'll just have to see. Uh, let's go and get some military factories assigned as well. Um, what planes do we currently have going? I think we don't have our naval bombers going. I do want to get those going, guys. I think that would be wise. Is there anything else that we should have? Uh, we could do strategic bombers. We'll wait on that, though. We'll wait until we get a bit more factories before we start working on that. Go ahead and put those naval bombers down there. We're going to want some fighters going. We could probably pull a little bit from the infantry equipment. Um, do we want to build anything? Probably not. I think our manpower is going to get hit pretty hard once they split. I didn't look at that when I did that test, but I think it's going to uh, I think it's going to be reduced quite a bit. So let's not let's not do that. 
It's going to put into artillery, light tanks, obviously, motorized. And we're going to do two into fighters, one in close air support. You know what? No, no. Let's do two into close air support. That makes far more sense. All right. I think this looks good, guys. Yeah, this is going to work. Um, as far as our current naval situation, well, a lot of these are almost done building at the moment. So we're going to allow them to continue building. Um, yeah, with the submarines, we want these to go infinite, obviously. Uh, destroyers? Oh, yeah, we can do infinite here as well. Although, I think we might actually have better destroyer models. Yeah, we do. All right, so let's just build one of these destroyer models. Uh, heavy cruisers, I think that's the best heavy cruiser we have right now. No, we have heavy cruiser twos. All right. So, instead, we just want one of those. Uh, the battleship? Oh, let me just take a look here. I think, yeah, we're a battleship twos. That's, that's good. We'll go ahead and put them on infinite. And then uh, we're going to have to get rid of one of these. They're not all that far built anyways. I'm just going to move these things around here. And that looks good. As far as where we want them to go, uh, none of them is going to get done anytime so soon, so I'm not going to mess with it at all. Uh, and then we're going to remove these dockyards a bit as well. Let's go ahead and uh, get these heavy cruiser finished up, work on that battleship, work on destroyers as well. I think that looks good. So let's go ahead and check out our resource situation. We don't need to trade for those any longer. Sorry, Sweden. I don't need your tungsten. But we will need some rubber. And we're just going to trade with the Dutch East Indies because I don't know who we're going to go to war with just yet. Uh, so we'll trade with the Dutch East Indies. And we'll trade with Benz Venezuela because, well, no, no, no. Let's trade with the United States. Maybe we'll get friendly with them. Maybe we'll find ourselves being best friends with the United States. Who knows? Are all of our units trained up? Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. All right, so what we're going to do, let's go and put this on speed five. And then we're going to want to move all of our troops over to this side of the country. Uh, I don't think it matters. I didn't test this, but I I'm pretty sure it has its own order of battle. The Civil War does, just like the Spanish Civil War. So, uh, in a normal Civil War, what happens is uh, all your units, um, they pretty much go to whatever side they're on. So, if, like, you know, Berlin rebels here, then those units are over there. You could have your whole army over here, and they rebel, and then you're on this side of the country with no divisions. Uh, it's just kind of the way it is. But I don't think it is in these... Uh, these scripted civil wars. It just doesn't happen that way. All right, so we have battleships. We have heavy cruisers going. We've got submarines. Okay, destroyers. That's right. We were building some crappy destroyers. All right, let's get a uh, better destroyer going then. And I'll put all those dockyards into that as well. All right, that's good. And like I said, they can build wherever they want. Actually, in fact, let's go and once again, I don't know that this is going to have any effect, guys. Probably not. Um, at the very least, ships might be affected, though. We'll just see, guys. Let's go ahead and get them all going into the, the port. And just in case it doesn't, I'm pretty sure it does, though. I think they all do. Um, and apparently I forgot to sign a dockyard. Or we finished building those heavy cruisers. That's exactly what happened. All right, well, I think we're just going to focus on battleships, destroyers, and submarines right now. E or we could do light cruisers. Yeah, let's do light cruisers. That's what we'll do. Let's get some light cruisers going. We'll go ahead and make sure that we have... Oh, where the fuck are all my dockyards? All right, we're going to have to build like so. I think this looks good. This will work out nicely. All right. Um, we have a decision available. A few decisions. All right, let's take a look. We got promises of peace. Yeah, I don't want to make those promises. We're not going to do anti-democratic or anti-communist raids. We don't need to do any of those. All right, so we should get in our, be getting our units soon. We'll move them over here. And, yeah, so I, I, the reason why they do this is so that, one, you can't, you can't do this. Because in a normal civil war, if I had all my units over here and then this side rebels, then I, they wouldn't have any troops and I'd be able to quickly conquer them. Um, so they basically say you can't cheat. That's the main reason why they don't do that. So it makes sense. Uh, having their own. And to make sure you have like even sides. And oops. Whoa. All right. So we finished our national focus. Before we select the event here, let's go ahead and pick the next national focus, which it's pretty easy to pick which one we're going to do. We're going to do four year plan. This is going to give us research bonuses for industry. We're also going to get a new political advisor, which we're going to need that because I think. I think a lot of our advisors are Nazis, so I don't think we're going to get to use them. All right, let's go and read this. The Weirmick Officers Challenge Hitler. Uh, also, now that we're reading the event here, I want to go ahead and say right by the get-go that my German is almost as bad as my French. Uh, and from what I've discovered from playing Hearts of Iron and, and a lot of strategy games over this time, that people get really, really irritated, really, really triggered when I mispronounce their language. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip over any, like, challenging like really challenging German words I'll probably mispronounce every German word I say but I'm gonna skip over any other ones because 
It seems to be better to skip over them than to have everybody griping at me in the comments because it's so bad. Light and dissatisfaction with Hitler's rule has come to a head with the current crisis. Caused by the administration's move to remilitarize the Rhineland, a number of Wehrmacht generals have rallied behind the well-known Field Marshal August von Mackensen, who has been who has put in motion plans aiming to depose Hitler and to remove the Nazi party from Germany. With the split in the German high command becoming clearly apparent, even abroad, foreign powers have elected not to protest against the remilitarization more concerned with the growing internal German instability. The aging field marshal has moved quickly, already establishing a provisional government to which scores have flocked in their opposition to the Nazi government. The military coup is already well on its way. Purge the Nazi scum from our lands. All right, so this is going to start the Civil War, guys. Uh, and he does give some significant bonuses here, so we already have some advantages. Let's go ahead and start it. Get the war started. Oh, yes, we want to go ahead and start moving our troops immediately. Uh, let's go ahead and create... Two separate fronts is what I'm thinking here, guys. I think that's the way we're going to do it. And, huh. Let me just check here. No. Yeah, it is an order of battle. This is exactly how many divisions I think I had the last time. All right, I was curious about that. That's why I wanted to test it. Because uh, it's an interesting ideal if it if uh, they do have it set up that way. And, and they do, so... That's a uh, bravo to them, I would say. All right, so we're going to put all our fast units here uh, going towards Berlin. Although I am really tempted to use one division. You know what? No, no. We'll leave that division down here in the south. And let's go ahead and create a new army. This army is going to be a... Ooh, let's do a red army here. Uh, and we will give them a little icon. And a commander, which is going to be Rommel. Yeah, I already know it's going to be Rommel, guys. It's going to be Rommel. All right, awesome. So I don't think he has, no, he just has a guerrilla fighter. We're not gonna get that one. Uh, let's go ahead and give him a offensive line uh, and a uh, front line. Uh, and then we're gonna be focusing on taking, we're just gonna come to the river here, guys. Uh, I want them to have a smaller front so they can push towards Berlin because Berlin, really you just need to take Berlin and, and Munich, I think, and a couple other cities here, and then you pretty much have won. So let's go ahead and have them get an offensive line here. We're gonna send some more divisions up there as well. I just wanna see how this is looking. We do have those fast cavalry troops. Hmm. Well, 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 well. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them there. However, I'm gonna command them to come up this way. All right, so let's go ahead and have these guys selected and let's create a new army. And these guys will be, uh, let's make them yellow. So they're gonna be the yellow army and we're gonna give them, oh, well, these work. I, I wasn't gonna use these um, because it confuses me because of the colors. However, this is yellow. So yeah, I think it'll be the yellow triangle. That's awesome. All right, and then who should we have command the army here? Oh, oh, oh. Let's just see here. I'm I'm thinking Manstein. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, guys. Yeah, that makes the most sense for right now. All right, so does he have any traits he could pick? He does. Fortress Buster, Fortress Buster or Scavenger. Neither one of those are very advantageous to us. At the moment, so just wait. We'll see if uh, anything else comes available to us. All right, let's go ahead and move these guys down here like so. And then I'm going to need a few of these to go up to the north. Oh, some of these divisions are highly untrained. Good God. All right, so we're going to want... Oh, let's do 18 divisions over here. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Let's do 18. All right, 18 divisions up in the north. And then the rest of these guys will be assigned in the south. And I believe... We are just about ready to go. In fact, no, no, no. Let's do one more division over here, I think. I think that makes more sense. All right, that'll work out. All right, so let's go and get our guys attacking now. We're going to get them pushing forward here. We're going to play on speed two, guys, just because it's uh, more efficient. I want to try and get this war done as quickly as possible with as few as casualties as possible uh, for obvious reasons. Let's go ahead and have these guys just go ahead and just beeline to take as much territory as possible. Uh, and we're going to have, oh, let's just grab a few of these guys and have them attack immediately. And we do need to give them a front as well, which we will do here momentarily. Let's go ahead and have this cavalry come this way. All right, so everybody should start moving forward here. We do have the ability to modify our government. So what I want to go ahead and do, guys, is let's go ahead and change our conscription laws while we can. Um, I know that this is going to give us a training time penalty. And I know once we get all Germany back, we're going to have a lot more manpower. However, we're also going to be non-aligned, which means we're not going to be able to change our conscription laws. Uh, for a long time. So I think it makes more sense to do this now. So let's go and change uh, immediately. Change that up. I'm not too worried about that 10% penalty. What do we have available here? Anti-fascist raids. We don't need to do those. Uh, industrial land appropriation. 
No, we're not going to do that either. Uh, what's this one? So this allows us to build a fighter uh, more quicker. Hmm. And everything else is going to be slower. All right, and it also costs war support. Mm, nah, let's not do that right now. And that reminds me, we do need to get our planes going. So probably should have already done this. But that's okay, because I think they, they change up your planes as well. Um, dang, we don't have shit for planes. Yeah, they give us like no planes. Oh, okay, wait a minute, hold up. That's right, I never did what I normally do when I start a series. I normally get rid of all these air wings, guys. Let's go and get rid of all these. Fleet them. And then we can assign them. All right, so we're going to want some up here in the north. Uh, we're going to do... How many close air support do we have? Not many. All right, so we're going to do 50 close air support. Uh, how many fighters do we have? Not many of those either. All right, so we have 133 old-ass fighters and a few fighter ones. Okay, well, let's do... I guess we're going to do a full 100 here. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, let's do a full 100 right here. Uh, obviously, we want to be pretty strong up here in the north. Uh, and then we're also going to throw some tactical bombers up here as well. Uh, we'll give the good tactical bombers down in the south since they don't really have as much support. And we'll just do the interwar bombers here, I think. Yeah, let's do 100 interwar bombers there. All right, so everybody is assigned to eastern Germany. Uh, we are going to also do more ground crews there. I think that would be wise for us. And then down here we'll throw the remaining fighters. Or we'll do an air wing of 50, I suppose. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the tactical bombers as well. And we will just do like a air wing of 100 tactical bombers, I suppose. I think that'll work out nicely. Excellent. Uh, I don't really want to engage in the naval war at all, so we're not going to. I don't think it makes sense. We're fighting our own fellow Germans here, guys. Let's try and uh, reduce casualties as much as possible. All right. Excellent. So we're going to get some plane support. Obviously, it's going to take a little while before we get that. Um, all right. So all of our troops are moving right now. We're just going to have to wait. Uh, Germany embroiled in civil war. All right, so you guys can read that if you desire. Pause the game and read it. Because um, we already know what happened here. We already got our own event. All right, so I want these guys to actually uh, come this way instead of whatever I had them doing. Um, and then the cavalry troops can come over here next. I would love to cut uh, all of Munich off from the rest of the country if it is at all possible. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys split. These Germans are really terribly uh, experienced. Their experience is, is very poor. All right, that's that sucks. Um, not surprising, though. All right, so just going to let all of our troops. We're just going to use our fast troops here. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. All right, so we need to get troops over there to assist them because they're currently attacking us. Uh, and then, yeah, the rest of you guys come on over here. All right, we're attacking up that way. Uh, we need to get our tanks. In fact, um, how much you guys go ahead and take that province right there for me? All right, so these guys are going to lose, unfortunately. But if we get a little bit of defense there, they might be able to turn it around and win. It seems a lot of their troops are down here. Let's see if we can't get a win here. We're going to attack right there, and then we're going to lock these units down so they can't move any further. All right. Moving pretty good, guys. Let's go and advance the front there. Um, got the tanks moving here. These guys are trying to spread out, spread the love a little bit. What we need to do is launch an attack there because you can see that they're uh, attempting to um, take our provinces. Yeah, they already did take our province there. All right. Well, we'll lock down the rest of them. Maybe we'll be able to get there before those guys. I don't know. Got tanks coming over here. Um, overall, who's got the most divisions and stuff? I don't even know. I didn't check this. Uh, so 29 to 55. We have 39. Uh, so we don't know how many they have. Uh, as far as factories, looks like we have more. Uh, oh, we have more military factories, but less civilian factories. Uh, as far as manpower goes, we got a little bit more manpower. Uh, and planes, probably about even when it comes to planes and the Navy. All right, well, we're not going to get our Navy involved at all, guys. Uh, I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense uh, to do that at the moment. And we're going to have to attack with another division because they're going to lose there. All right, so we're winning here. I'm trying to get to Nuremberg. So if we can't get it as quickly as we can, uh, we're going to go ahead and these guys attack across here. Even though I know this is not their objective, it's fine. It's wide the fuck open, so might as well. Uh, having some difficulty here, it seems. We're not going to be able to advance any further because they pumped a bunch of troops up there. Uh, it looks like we are also losing here. So that's a damn shame. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one of these guys back and have him move over there. And then have the other one pull back and move over here just to get this uh, get this front uh, manned. Because as of right now, it's wide the fuck open. All right, so we are winning there. Uh, we did lose here, but that's okay. I'm actually fine with that. Actually, I don't want you guys to fight there. It's too easy for us to get a win right here uh, once some of these divisions pull out and then cut those guys off. So I'm actually okay with that. All right. Uh, seeing a lot of red, unfortunately. Have taken this here. Let's see if we can't... Um, well, 
when are they gonna get there? Oh, they're gonna get there in one hour. All right, well, that's a shame. Are they leaving? No, they're deciding to stay. How about over here? When are they, okay, 15 hours, nope, they're gonna stay as well. All right, so not gonna be able to advance any further there. Getting all of our troops over here onto the front. And we'll just see where we have some op opportunities available to us. Um, and it does seem that they have pushed forward over here because we have not stretched our front far enough. I didn't realize, I don't know what I was thinking, that I'd better cut these guys off. Um, there's all this territory here. I'm just I'm just an idiot. I know we're paying attention. All right, so let's go and attack here uh, with these guys. And we're going to attack with those guys so they look fairly weak. Um, like we might be able to get a win there. Uh, over here, let's go ahead and send these guys in. Let's also send some troops in here to support. Uh, we're going to attack. Ooh. Yeah, there's not really anywhere. Let's wait till we get more troops over here before we launch any further attacks. I don't know where you guys are going. I actually want you to stay up here. Uh, let's go ahead and attempt to launch an attack right there. See if we can't uh, get some victories here. All right, and yep, not winning here. Actually, just pull all these back. These are not going well. Let's pull them all back, please. All right. How are we doing so far in casualties? It looks like we have lost 2,000. They have lost 3,000. All right, so kind of winning. <laughs> I mean, it's irrelevant type of win. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and attack here. Let's get, try and push forward, see if we can't get some of this territory taken. Uh, we are just a couple provinces away from taking Nuremberg here. Uh, let me see. Can we support any with any other troops? Not really. We didn't give our yellow army a line, so let's go ahead and do that so they get a nice planning bonus. While they're just sitting still. All right, so losing there. Yeah, let's just go and pull that back. That's clearly not going to work. This isn't going to work either. Let's go and pull that back. Um, I think we're attempting to lock troops down on that one. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll leave them fighting for right now. All right, so what we want to go ahead and do now. Uh, let's go ahead and have you guys attack there. Attack. And we're going to have you guys, uh, actually you, support that attack. And you attack that way. All right, looking good. Support. All right, so having some tr some trouble there, despite the fact that we outnumber them by quite a bit. Interesting. Okay. A lot of our troops still are lacking organization. Let's go ahead and have this tank here attack. And we'll just send both of them in. It's fine. All right. Um, so uh, the goal here will be mainly just to get the victory points as quickly as we can. We don't have a lot of tanks, so it's not going to be like a quick uh, thing. We're not going to be able to like, do quick attacks to... Uh, uh, quickly grab the, the victory points up because we only have like one tank unit. We're attacking across a river here, so that's pretty silly. Um, we are winning though, so you can't argue with that. I guess we're gonna go ahead and attack there. However, the problem is that they're about to get more troops, um, so we need to attack right there to lock those guys down. All right, I'm, I'm thinking that we're gonna go ahead and pull this back. Yeah, there's a lot of divisions there. We're not gonna win. It doesn't look like they're moving either. Uh, so where can we cut some troops off? Just trying to see here. Um, let's attempt an attack right here now. We have a lot of divisions here. I'm going to send two of these guys in. Alright, and you support that attack. Alright, I really, really want to cut these guys off from these guys here. I think that would be incredibly advantageous for us. Uh, we are losing that attack there. That's not going too well. That's alright. Um, losing this attack here as well. We're going to stay on the defense for a little bit longer before we launch any further attacks there. We need some of these green uh, attacks to currently... Uh, win before we're really going to be able to do anything. Nuremberg is wide the fuck open. Okay, let's go and grab that then. And we will attack with these guys to make sure they're not able to stop us from taking that. Hopefully we'll get there soon. They're currently de de uh, defending right now, so that limits what we can do. I think we just took that province. That's right, we just won that attack. So finally got ourselves a nice little victory, so that's good. I'm going to attempt to attack these tanks here. Uh, it looks like it is a victory. Let's go and send the Cavs uh, in as well. Uh, still losing this attack here. Uh, we'll continue it though just until we get that province there. Alright, looking pretty good all across the front, guys. Hopefully, have air superiority. Let's just take a look and see how things are looking. Uh, we do not. Our planes are getting ate the fuck up over here uh, while we're winning here. Alright, well, that's quite unfortunate. I think that's why we're having trouble down there. Uh, how many planes do they have there? It looks like they sent their entire air force there and they have no air force up here. Alright, well, that's fine because I want Berlin. So, if that's how they want to do it, let them do it. Um, we're going to go ahead and attack here as well. Uh, mainly just to help these guys out because they're having a lot of issues there. And let's just go and launch an attack with all these guys because I think we could get a win there. Push those guys back. All right. As far as cutting troops off, I mean, we'll, we'll attempt to wherever we see uh, opportunities to do so. But really, it's just about getting the victory points as quickly as we can. And let's just stop these guys. I don't know why they're doing so many attacks across the river. That's uh, a bit silly. Um, but yeah, they're doing a lot of them. I know this one, obviously, I ordered. Um, okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like... We're gonna get Nuremberg, unfortunately. They did, uh, yeah, that sucks. Let's go pull that back then. They did get somebody over there. 
All right, so this is where we're gonna get the, the first initial troops cut off right here. I'm gonna try and cut these guys off, these two divisions, and then we're gonna get them destroyed. Uh, so let's go ahead and have um, these guys attack over here. So we'll have them attack right there. We're gonna send this division in over here, and we can now stop that attack as well. Uh, although, never mind. We need to stop those guys from being able to uh, stop us from progressing. Uh, so we're going to attempt to get those two divisions cut off. I know they'll still have supply because they have the port, but, very, but we'll still be able to get them destroyed, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and send troops in over here and here. And then this tank unit is going that way. All right, looking pretty good, guys. Yeah, this is not it's not looking too bad. I know there's a lot of red here. It's going to pull these back. Clearly, they're not going to work. I'm going to bring this guy over here. And, yeah, let's just pull back. We are just not having any... Uh, any luck attacking those guys right there, unfortunately. All right, so I think we're locking those units down. I don't think we need to do that any longer, actually. Um, the reason that we had that is no longer applies. Uh, we are short on some resources, apparently. Let's go ahead and stop trading, or we're actually trading for extra resources for a lot of these. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit of tungsten from our Portuguese friends. I was gonna say American friends, but no, let's, let's trade with the Portuguese uh, for the chromium. We'll trade with the Turks. All right, so that should fix that situation. Um, we're just a few provinces from getting these guys cut off here. And support that attack. You can, oh well, hmm. I was gonna say you can go there if you want. But we'll, we'll get a division there soon, so it's not that big of a problem. Um, although, hmm, all right. It is a little bit of a problem. Is he going, I can't tell which way he's going. It looks like he's going that way. All right, so what we're gonna do here, I am gonna change this up, guys, because um, I want this guy coming over here. Uh, we'll just attack with that guy instead to lock that division down. And I don't know what he's doing. Uh, we have troops coming over there now, so it's not a big of a problem. Uh, should beat them there, hopefully anyways. Uh, what we could do to make sure that he doesn't take that province from us is just attack him. Just throw one attack over there. All right, so still winning there. What happened over here in the north? Uh, we're about to get them cut off, so let's go and make sure that happens. We're going to grab that province up as well. And instead of going wherever the hell you're going, why don't you come on over here? Help me out. All right, looking good, guys. Uh, about to get those two divisions cut off, and we'll destroy them. Uh, about to separate it, which was the whole goal here. Um, yeah, we're moments away from separating these two. So that'll be nice. Um, we did get across the river here, so hopefully we can get them cut off. And the way we're going to need to do that is attack with these guys. All right, send those ones in. And those guys in. All right, excellent. Uh, don't need to attack there any longer. They can keep pumping divisions over here if they want, I suppose. Although, yeah... All right, I guess that's the best way to do it. All right, Nuremberg, let's get it. Attack here, and we will support. No, let's send two divisions in, actually, and then support one. All right, and you guys can pull and stop your attack. I don't remember why we had them do it in the first fucking place. Uh, looks like they're coming on over, over this way. I don't want you guys to leave here. Instead, attack with that division there. Let's pull them back so they can focus on defense here. Uh, and how are we doing? These guys are attempting to grab that province, and they're being attacked. All right, we're going to need to assist them then, which we can easily do that. All right, looking good. We did get these two territories cut off, which means these guys are actually, I believe, cut off from supply, right? Because, yeah, their uh, capital is in Berlin, so that means they're cut off from supply. Okay, so they're attempting to get out. Let's go and attack them there. This is going to be a challenging, uh, challenging thing to do here because uh, don't have a lot of divisions over here. All right, we're going to beat them there. So what we need to do... All right, so we have them attacking there. Let's have these guys attack right here. And then you guys are going to also attack. Let's try and get this finished. Finished up. You guys can actually stop attacking. Let's send them in instead. All right, looking good, guys. Looking good. I uh, wish they wouldn't pull so many divisions from the north where I really need them going down south. I know the front has... Uh, increased by quite a bit, so that's the reason why they're concerned. Um, but yeah, I don't want them coming down there. Not yet. Alright, so how are we doing? We're still defending here. Uh, trying to get more troops into there as well, so I can try and cut those two divisions off. About to get Nuremberg, although we're going to need to stop this guy from getting over there because he's going to ruin our plans. Damn him. And then we can come up here and get all those troops cut off. That's the idea anyway. Alright, where are you guys going? Don't go wherever you're going. Instead, attack right there. Alright, looking good. Looking good, guys. Okay, so what we need to do here. Uh, we have all this secured. We can go ahead and stop them. Uh, let's go ahead and have them support that attack. And Nazi expulsion takes a heavy hold, a heavy toll on Franken. Alright, so that's that's where you get the, the damage to uh, your industri industry and your uh, infrastructure. 
That's fine. All right, so currently still winning across here. We're losing right there. I don't even think we need to be attacking there any longer. Um, although, let's have this guy go onto the red front here uh, because it feels like the red army needs the troops more uh, at the moment. All right, so we do have our troops here. Um, let's go ahead and attempt to have a division go that way. Let's have a division attack that way. And let's have a, another division attack that way. All right, awesome. Looks good. And then to have this guy come all the way on over here. Keep attacking there, locking those units down for me. Uh, we do have Nuremberg, that's fantastic news. Now we just need to attack there. Currently defending though, but we can go ahead and launch an attack anyway. I love that they changed that. That was not something you could do before. Uh, and yeah, they changed that recently, and it's, it's nice uh, that you can now launch attacks while defending. Couldn't always do that. Uh, so, let's go and attack those guys, because they look really weak as they attack us. Should be able to get those two divisions wrapped up soon. And looking pretty good, guys, it's going well. Um, going pretty nicely. Let's just take a look at the casualties. We are, have actually taken more casualties than they have. Uh, just by a little bit. It's not by much. But yeah, we have taken more casualties. We've done some, uh, we've done a lot of uh, risky maneuvers, I think, uh, so far. Uh, but that's okay. I'm okay with the casualties being, as long as we win, that's what matters. Uh, and yeah, we have, are having some issues here, unfortunately. Um, what I really want you to do is just attack. I just want this, this to be wrapped up. Uh, and we look pretty good here. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's see uh, what else we can do. Um, so anybody could just take this province from us if they wanted to and march towards Hanover. I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, is there any way we can attack anywhere? Not really. <laughs> All right. Well, what if we assisted that attack? Because there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to win there. Uh, and then we're going to have this guy assist that attack there. Somebody could easily take that province from us. So that's not good. Uh, what I'm going to do is bring this guy over there now. And... Uh, Nice, we can actually take that immediately. I think we have somebody going over there. He should be able to grab that up, uh, and that'll cut that division off. Uh, so when is he gonna get there? I think he's currently defending, so he can't. We're gonna attempt to, to move there with that guy and see if he can't make it happen. Uh, and yeah, things are looking good. We're slowly getting everybody cut off. Um, won't be much longer, guys. Won't be much longer. So what I actually want you guys to do, let's pull the cavalry back and have them come over here, and let's attack with this division. Really trying to get that done, as you can see. Although it might just be easier to attack up this way. Um, you know what? It probably would be. But, yeah, we just don't have the divisions. All right, so we finished this up. Let's go ahead and get the next one. Get those research time bonuses. Incredibly helpful. As far as decisions available, we have a whole bunch that we're probably not going to take. No, nah, not going to do that one. Not going to do that one. And yeah, we're not going to do that. All right. So, oh, zoomed in a little bit crazy there. So we've been defending here for a very long time, so it's kind of reduced our ability to really do anything. That province is wide open. Let's go and take that. We did get these troops cut off. That is fantastic news. Very happy about that. Let's go and get them destroyed and ready. Let's destroy them. Uh, we got these guys um, almost done. They're looking a lot better than they were before. Uh, still winning here, um, but for how much longer, I can't tell you because, yeah, these guys are currently attacking us. Uh, so, yeah, it it's fine. Uh, it looks like we could take, we don't actually want them to do that, to move there now. Let's just go ahead and have them stay where they're at. I'm just trying to hold this this area so that we can get those divisions destroyed. Uh, so just making sure that we're looking good all across the front. They're not able to uh, do anything to us, anything bad. I'm not really seeing it. Um, it looks like we wrapped that up. Uh, so those divisions have been wiped out. Let's go and have this guy advance over here. Let's go and start uh, marching towards Munich. Uh, we're going to want to take that as quickly as we can. We're going to continue attacking these guys here, get those units um, locked down. Uh, and, yeah, we'll continue attacking there as well. Looking pretty good overall, guys. Um, what I want to do is have a division, the best one, though. This guy. Move over towards that province, start working on getting over there. Uh, and we did lose right there. Oh, that's not good at all. All right, good thing that we caught that. Let's go and lock those guys down because, yeah, they would have reconnected these divisions that we fought so hard to get cut off. Obviously, we don't want that to happen. All right, so still attacking across here. Having some good uh, chances of getting these finished up. Uh, this guy's going to attempt to get towards Munich. Uh, at the very least, get them cut off there. Uh, he's currently defending, though, so not able to do much. But once he gets here, then we're going to go straight towards Munich, guys. All right, and so these divisions here, we have to leave one there, so it's fine. All right, grab Munich for me. Come on, baby. All right, so once we get that, that's a huge blow to the Germans. Uh, obviously, you know, I said to the Germans, because we're German, too. <laughs> so this one here, not looking good. Um, all right. 
Yeah, looks like we did it. There we go. Fantastic news. All right, so this has been accomplished. Let's go ahead and move some troops around here. Uh, very, very nice. We did destroy those two divisions. Let's see what we can do next. I'm just trying to take a word destroying a division there. Almost got this wrapped up over here. Munich is about to be in our hands. Oh, yes, yeah, this is looking good. Uh, we're going to want those guys cut off right there. And we're going to do that with these guys here. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's, it's a costly war for us. I understand. We all know the consequences of this, but we must defeat the Nazis. All right, so we're going to have these guys, you know, just attack, actually. And then you come on over here. You can actually support that. All right. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. It's looking pretty good. Uh, these guys keep, I don't know, they look confused. <laughs> That's all right, though. We'll help them out. Uh, let's go ahead and assist that attack, because uh, they're actually having some difficulty. Still can't do anything there, because we're still defending. Uh, so about to take that province right there, and that will cut those divisions off. Brilliantly executed, men. All right, we're going to have these guys come assist with that. Uh, and these guys here, I'm help them out. Let's go ahead and have them advance back here. Try and get these troops here cut off. And everything is going pretty well, I'd say. One attack right there because there's nobody there to stop us. They're gonna start running out of division soon, guys. Um, what happened here? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, well, we got those tanks cut off because we did win here. So let's go ahead and destroy these tanks. Let's get that finished up. It doesn't look like it's gonna last long though because they did do something here. I think that was a loss for us. I think they took a, a province from us, uh, which means we're like literally one province away from being cut off. Uh, so not good. What we're gonna do though is we're gonna attack and try and cut them off. You guys are going to come on over here, and then from there, attack them. And then we'll have these guys support that attack. And let's see what happens. So we can't turn this around here. Alright, so these guys are about to be destroyed. These guys are about to be destroyed. In fact, I, th I think we have enough divisions there right now to handle that. Uh, so you guys, wherever the hell you're going, don't do it. Uh, instead, come up behind these guys. See if we can't wrap that up for me. Alright, so we did advance right here, which is excellent news. Let's go and have these guys come on over here. I don't know what front they're on, but let's have them come on over here. I might have sent them to do something else and then I fucked that all up, but it's fine. <laughs> it's alright, guys. Let's go and attack here. We are losing all cross here, so that's frustrating, but it's alright, guys. Um, what we're going to do, let's bring these guys over here. Alright, try and help them there. Um, we could also help here. Help these guys out, because they're having some difficulties there. Um, still attempting to win here. Yeah, a lot of red guys, unfortunately. Not liking all the red that I'm seeing. All right, what I'm going to have you guys do is move on over here, and then we're going to attempt to try and get those guys wrapped up. All right, what's still left to be done? These guys are still trying to wrap that up. These guys are going to come over here and take all this for us in the south. Once we get all this cut off, let's go and grab that territory. These guys are now cut off. Um, all right, we'll have to get them destroyed slowly. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get those ones cut off as well. All right, looking pretty good on the southern front. Northern front is a little bit rougher. That's because we just don't have as many divisions up there, I think. Uh, we could support with these guys here. That might turn it around. It looks like we already won there. All right, I was hoping to get them cut off, but whatever. The point is that they didn't reconnect them. That's all we really needed to do there. Let's see if we can't take the uh, city there. And attack over here as well. And I'm just trying to see these guys can now attack. Get that tank destroyed, please. Make it happen. All right, you guys can attack that way. All right, so let's have this guy come up over here. This guy come over here. And looking good. Very good, I'd say. So make sure these guys are on this front here. About to be attacked. Um, but we'll be able to get them cut off. And what I'm going to do here is let's just have that tank, or this uh, infantry unit come over here and help out the tank. Because uh, he's having some difficulty. Now let's take a look at the casualties. 28,000 on our side, 67,000 on their side. So definitely have turned in our favor now. 42% towards capitulation for them. Getting it wrapped up. All right, so we're about to lose here. That's a little bit irritating. I think we're actually going to need to send a division in to help him because, yeah, I think that's not going to go well. I don't think we're going to win there. I was hoping we would be able to. Let's go ahead and send this guy into attack. Try and push him back there. Try and move towards Berlin. We didn't go towards Berlin quite as quickly as I would have liked, unfortunately. Um, let's go ahead and take that territory because, or we can just send that guy in as well. And instead have, uh, we'll send them both because I think they're actually going to get there before us. We'll just see. We'll see what they do there. I right, still got troops attacking across here. Instead of whatever you're doing, why don't you come on over this way? How are we doing on getting these guys wrapped up? Could have more troops attacking, frankly. Let's get this finished, guys. 
All right, so we have divisions here attacking that way. That tank's just about done. It's not gonna last much longer. They are, oh, what happened here? Oh, damn. <laughs> All right, attack there, and this is irrelevant. That guy's gonna get cut off. And he's probably gonna get destroyed as well. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping not to lose any divisions. All right, so we're attacking with this guy. Can he get, no, no, no. Why don't you pull that back and you come over here as well. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to get there in time to save them. It just doesn't look like it. He's retreating, but yeah, I don't. I just don't think it's gonna work, guys. All right, well that's that's quite unfortunate. We'll just see what happens before we call it a loss. Obviously, uh, we could also move our planes over here, but let's let's finish this up first. Uh, let's get this wrapped up. Uh, let's have these guys attack up over this way. You guys are attacking over there. And you're gonna come over here as well. We don't need any of you guys over here any longer. I don't know who's currently assigned here besides that division, but none of you guys need to be assigned there. Everybody, come over here. All right, excellent. Still attempting to win there. Really just kind of want to get, oh, we did retreat, excellent. I didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, that's quite surprising. I'm, I'm very pleased with it though. They are pushing us back here. Okay, that's fine though. As long as we save the division, that's what's important. You guys need to stay here, stop trying to take off. I'm trying to get, get out of your duties here. Uh, your duty is to attack. Attack men. All right, so almost got this wrapped up in the south. Take a look at the casualties again. It's now 30,000, 81,000. It's important, guys. It absolutely is important uh, that we have, uh, that we don't lose too many troops in a civil war with, you know, obviously we don't want, to. these are all Germans that are dying. It's quite sad. Uh, let me take a look at the southern front, the uh, two air fronts. Yeah, I just don't feel like we need any more air support here. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and have, oh, okay, hmm. We do ha we do not have enough fighters to really support this. So what I'm going to do, because we're having trouble replacing the fighters that we lose, let's just get rid of the fighter wing here. Um, I think that would probably be for the best. Or we could just reduce it. You know, what would reduce it. Would re reduce it in size so that we have some some fighters to. Oops, didn't mean to do that much. So we have a few fighters. I think you can actually. I thought you could. Yeah, you can. Shift click. There we go. All right. So that's going to be 25 fighters. We're going to move them over to. Oh. I suppose they can move right there. It's closer. Let's move them in here. Uh, the, I don't think coverage is a, a major issue. Uh, we'll move them in here anyways, though. And then we're going to want to get these guys. Um, which ones? It's these ones. All right. Fantastic. So that might allow us to gain control of the skies, which would really help us out here, because I think that's the main reason why we're having issues there, uh, is because we don't have control of the skies at the moment. All right, so you guys are going to come on over here. Let's hurry up and get those wrapped up so that we can send the yellow army up here. Uh, I'm going to probably have like the entire... No, no, no. Let's let's go ahead and start giving them a front. Give them some work to do. Um, what I want them to do is actually come up here in the north and help us out where we've been having some issues, to say the least. All right, so they're going to come over there, and we're just going to start sending some some uh, these yellow divisions up there now. All right, a lot of these do not need to be down here. Send them up here now. There we go. Get on over to that front, guys. All right, so they'll start moving over there. Whatever we have left, they will take care of this area for us. Let's go ahead and just send in anybody who has organization. And right. attack. Get it finished. And then the rest of the yellow army can just come on over here on their own. So it does look like we are losing. Uh, and oops, I don't want you to retreat. Yeah, we're losing in a lot of these uh, attacks, unfortunately, and defenses for that matter. Having a lot of difficulty overall uh, on this front. The Red Army's not looking great. Uh, poor Rommel. He has uh, had some difficulty. Uh, but once we get the Yellow Army up here in the north, where we can kind of rush towards Berlin, it's going to go a lot better. We're going to go and attack that. I know that we're, you know, at risk of currently uh, losing here. Let's go and have... Ugh, I know this is, this is stupidly risky, guys. Really, really, really risky. But I'm doing it anyways, because I want to. Let's move these guys over here. All right, so, yeah, they are about to get cut off. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it happen. Uh, they are attempting to get out of there. Will they get out of there in time? They will. So we're going to have to launch an attack, unfortunately. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, but we've got to make sure that they don't get out. Uh, we're going to try and cut those troops off, make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Uh, we'll let our organization get up with these troops here. And how is this going? It's, it's going, but it could be going quicker. Uh, let's just send this division over here. He's not even any use over here right now. All right, so you can come over here and help us out. We're just waiting for that yellow army to get their asses over here. Uh, and then we'll decrease the red army's front a little bit. Maybe. Maybe we'll just keep them over here so they can rush towards Berlin. Because we're literally a couple provinces from Berlin right now. All right, so they're attempting to get out. They're not going to. Um, 
If we can just pull this back, they're going to attempt to break out that way. All right, so we're going to have to attack right there. We'll just take turns attacking them, make sure that we keep them locked down. While we wait for organization to get up, because as you can see, our organization is kind of garbage uh, at the moment. Well, we could also... Damn, we're going to need troops. Well, the yellow army is coming over here. Um, what I want to do... Okay, it looks like the yellow army's done. Oh, excellent. All right, so they're going to come over here and help us out. Then let's go ahead and make sure they can't break out. Take a few more provinces. All right, looking good. Um, still trying to get to that city. <laughs> Having some difficulty. They keep uh, attacking us before we're able to. And before we're able to get over there. All right, so now that we have this guy here, I want you guys to come over here. So you can help wrap that attack up. And his organization's almost there, Rap. I'm going to feel comfortable right, so awesome. having him... Uh, launch an attack there. Um, yes, yes, I know. Ex severe damage to our uh, entire country right now. It's not great. I'm gonna have this guy attack. Uh, this guy attack as well. I know that these guys have like no organization, uh, so it's not the best way to do this. But it'll it'll be fine, guys. All right. So we're moving forward. Uh, about to get Stetton. Uh, Berlin will be in our hands soon as well. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys move down. Uh, in fact, just get on that front. I don't know if you were... No, no, no. <sighs> See? I tell them to move. <laughs> they fuck it up. All right. Um, 53 here on getting those guys destroyed. Currently defending there successfully, but they're about to get out. Um, damn. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Whoa. When does he get there? He's going to get there in one day and one hour. Do we have anybody heading there that's going to be there quicker? 22 hours. He should be good enough to defend there. Let's go and have... These guys attack over here, and them attack that way. All right, looking pretty good. Still attempting to attack there. That's been a long, long attack, but has not had a lot of success, unfortunately. Uh, so we need more Red Army troops down here. That's what, kind of the problem right now, is we just don't have enough Red Army troops in the south at the moment. Trying to get this wrapped up, because Berlin is literally just a few provinces away. Uh, so hopefully you should be able to grab that soon. We're going to come up behind these troops and try and grab it. And uh, then we'll have the war almost won. Uh, I think there's a few few other victory points we'll have to get in order to actually get the victory. All right, so you guys are going to go ahead and attack. Is there any victory points over here? Not really. No, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Let's just have them attack that way. Kind of help them out here on that defense. And everybody who's got at least a little bit of organization needs to get this wrapped up. This is holding us up here uh, by, by a lot. So let's go and attack over here. Try and get that finished up as well. Let's go and attack that way too. Um, look pretty good here, guys. All right, so that's a loss, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I don't have enough troops to do anything down here, guys. And they are all pretty strong overall with the exception right there. Uh, what we could do is attack those guys to help that tank unit out. Uh, but yeah, I want to cut those guys off, so I'm not going to attempt to uh, attack them there. Uh, so anything over here that we're actually... Is there anywhere we're losing? We did get that wrapped up. Excellent. All right. Fantastic. All right, so the Yellow Army is going to be focusing on the push towards Berlin. Um, hmm. All right, really can't do anything there. We just need to stretch the front out so far up here that they have to start pulling divisions off of this frontier. Uh, that's the only way we're going to be able to do this. And we're about to get cavalry troops over there now, so we'll use the cav. Uh, come on over here. Uh, we'll have you guys go that way and the cavalry go over there all right excellent push him forward all right about to push that guy out finally it has taken us long enough and yes it's so devastating to our our country got it sometimes i mean i don't know i know why that one continues to fire so you know like hey this is why your country's in having such issues right now so i understand why that one keeps firing but god sometimes these events that keep firing are are frustrating all right so, um, I guess we're going to attack here with this Red Army unit just to kind of help that defense out. Uh, and this guy here is going to have to wait until that division leaves before he's able to advance any further. We are losing that attack right there. However, we're going to attack with all these guys. And that should uh, allow us to get one province away from Berlin. All right. Uh, this, I know this is across a river, guys. We're going to attack anyway because it looks like a really, really easy attack. So let's make that happen. Uh, let's go ahead and just grab, let's just separate these so we don't have to worry about this side of the country at all anymore. Uh, and these guys decided not to leave. Well, that's a shame. I was really hoping to grab that province from them. I guess they saw what we were going to do and they said, eh, nah, that's all right. We won't do that. All right, let's go and attack with those guys. And nowhere else is it open. <laughs> that's a shame. We need more Red Army troops here. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, this front is so, so long. Uh, what we could do 
So the Red Army doesn't feel the desire. In fact, let's just go ahead and delete that front right there. And then let's reduce the Red Army's front a bit to just like right there. So the Red Army doesn't feel the need to uh, cover all this land here. All right, so this is cut off. We could grab it up real quick to make maybe make them capitulate a little bit sooner. I don't know, it feels like we need more divisions down this way though. Well, yeah, let's just have him wrap this up because if he takes care of this, I mean, this is all counting towards victory. So just wrap that up. We just won't even pay attention to him. I probably should have sent the cavalry unit to do that, but whatever, it's fine. He'll do that. One more division, they can make that much of a difference. All right, we're gonna attack with that one though. That one division will make a difference because he's the hero, the hero we've been waiting on this entire time. Yeah, I don't think we'd win on any of these attacks, guys. They're all entrenched and shit. And maybe we'll, we'll get that city there. Um, but yeah, we just need to get Berlin. That's that's the key here. All right, so let's go ahead and attack. Ooh, yeah, that's wide fucking open right there. We're gonna attack right there. Uh, we're gonna have this guy come on over here. And I don't know where the fuck you're going, but go back to your area, man. <laughs> get back in line. Yeah, all these Red Army troops, they are not assigned to the front right now. Seems a lot of the Red Army is not assigned to the front, apparently. Um, okay, but these guys are attacking, so it's fine. And these guys are helping that attack, so I'm not going to change them up either. All right, so the cavalry unit's going to get that. You guys are going to come on over here. And let's hurry up and get this done, guys. Um, in fact, I don't know who's all assigned here, but everybody needs to be assigned over to this front. I don't need anybody over here. All right, so uh, we could actually send divisions in here. I'm going to cut that division off, get them destroyed. Ah, damn, figures. Shit. All right, we got our four-year plan national focus. Awesome. Uh, so that's some nice advantageous bonuses there. Let's see, what do we want to go for next? I guess, we, yeah, we have to stay on this branch uh, for right now. Ah, oh, come on. Can I scroll over, please? Um, let's go with... Hmm. Let's go with the autarky. I think that's the best bonuses for right now. Let's take a look at the casualties. I'm curious. 119,000 for their side. 38,000 for ours. So... Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Who's still assigned to this? We still got a division here. It's currently assigned. All right, well, he's attacking that way. We're going to keep him. I know it's across the river, guys. It is fine. We're in May. And we still haven't won yet. So that's frustrating, but whatever. We're going to send this tank. We're going to send this uh, motorized unit in here to come help the tank because this is taking just way too fucking long. Um, we're going to have you guys attack that way as well. Try and get that finished up for us. Still attempting to attack here, not having much success uh, either, it's, it's just taking forever. Um, attacking there, let's go ahead and this division come on over here, grab some provinces up for us. Guys got about half of what we told him to take over, done. Or maybe not quite half, that might be a bit gracious saying half, but he's doing a good job, is what I'm trying to say. He's doing a fantastic job, I'm proud of him. So have you guys attack across that way as well, uh, and maybe that'll turn it into, we'll turn to yellow. Alright, so how are we doing on the air war? It's yellow. Okay, we're having trouble keeping fighters in the sky, unfortunately. All right, well, that's not surprising. Uh, we finally took that goddamn city. All right, awesome. So what I'm gonna do is let's just attack here, have this guy come here, and then you grab that that up, and, and hopefully he can grab that city. I just I just want to uh, get these guys cut off here, so we can get them destroyed, and hopefully we can do that. Oh, wait a minute. Damn. All right, they cut us off. Cold blooded, man. That's some cold blooded shit right there. All right, so we're gonna take that. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's go back to the city. All right, whatever. <laughs> Poor tank unit. Uh, so we need to win there still. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attack with these guys like so. And we can hopefully get Berlin. I'm trying from multiple different directions here and it's uh, just been slow going. It looks like we actually are facing some an attack here. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to attack them then. Let's attack him. See if we can't get him bottled up over here. We'll see what we can't do. Uh, or he's going to go that way. Whatever. I'll have to just watch and pay attention to what the hell's going on over there. In fact, we're probably going to want to send another division over here. Oh, uh, well, it seems like we already have another division. Uh, he's right there. All right, so you're going to come over here and help us out on that front. Uh, and we did fail there, unfortunately. Let's go and grab that province up. We'll see if we can't get these guys cut off. There's a victory point as well. That's worth 10. All right, that's pretty big. Uh, so currently they are... 50%, and I want to say Berlin makes up a significant portion of what we need to get that 50%. Let's go and send another division in over here, see if we can't get that. Finally, to be a win. Still, okay, Berlin is wide open. Let's grab it. All right, awesome. So I think we should get Berlin here momentarily. 
Matter of 24 hours, guys. 24 hours. Alright, so where is he going? Let's go and attack that way. Make sure we just chase him around there. Alright, where are we at? It is nine hours away. Uh, and of course they would be attacking there. That's fine, we'll lock him down. Come on, buddy. Oh, so close. So fucking close. Alright, let's send. Get it in that way. Get it in that way. And then these guys are going to just block them from being able to, to reinforce Berlin right now. Uh, it looks like we can actually send troops in here. There's nobody there. Uh, and we got our bonus, so that did help us in the war. And we got basic machine tools as well. All right, so still deep in 1936. So I think we're going to go ahead and start getting some of these support company knocked out. We're going to get the field hospitals. Because uh, Germany has a lot of their, their stuff done. We do want to get medium tanks um, when that comes around, but that's that's a ways away. Uh, artillery, obviously, should be something we prioritize. Um, but industry first, guys. Let's do concentrated industry. Yeah, but overall, it's, it's looking good. It's going quite well for us. Um, I don't know. It looks like they might be trying to take that province. So we're going to attack them. Try and push them back. Uh, so the attack on Berlin, not going well, unfortunately. It looks like we are losing that attack. All right. Well, it's a shame. Just uh, make sure you're staying on that front there. All right. So we did get these guys cut off, finally. About fucking time. Let's attack them there. Uh, and then we're going to have... Yeah, you guys can go there and then attack. That's fine. We got two divisions cut off. Oh, that went even better than it was going to go. All right, let's go and separate these ones. Although... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll go and separate them right there. Uh, just in case Berlin continues to take a long time to take care of. And what we're going to do here is... Yeah, everybody's trying to pull out. They see that they're literally one province away from being cut off. Um, so, yeah, they know it's they know it's about to happen. Uh, in fact, why don't we have that guy attack there? When would he... 11, oh, wait a minute. He's going to get there soon. All right, well, let's just lock them down. Make sure that they don't beat us. All right. Looking good. About to get that city. Um, and Berlin's just not... The attack on Berlin's just not going well. All right. That's a shame. Let's go ahead and attack over this way. It looks like this attack is not going to work, but we're going to go ahead and keep it going until I get another division over there to assist them. All right. So these guys have been cut off. Um, let's go ahead and grab that province right there. Let's have this tank unit attack over here. Motorized attack over that way. You guys are going to attack right there. Everybody needs to stay on their fucking fronts, please. <laughs> Killing me. Yeah, you guys attack right there. And let's just get this finished up, man. Finish it up. In fact, all you guys are going to have to stay on that front. This is going to get messed up. Um, yeah. Let's have these guys come over here instead. All right. Excellent. Trying to get this wrapped up. Um... Still need to get Berlin, though. That's really what it comes down to. 127,000 on casualties. We've lost 42,000. 56% towards capitulation here. Uh, and let's have these guys just grab that province right there. That might be a key air base where they could be having troops. Uh, so it might be able to grab. Let's go and grab this one up so we cut those troops off. Uh, and we, we don't really need another division over here. Why don't you come on over here? Come on, buddy. All right, so we can now modify our government. Um, yeah, that's right. We can't get a silent workhorse. Because they're all Nazis. Well, god damn. Alright, well, what could we get? Captain of Industry, I suppose, would be useful. I suppose we can get that. We're building civilian factory. Let's get Captain of Industry. That's always nice to get early on. Alright, so a lot of divisions cut off right now. Yeah, a ton of divisions cut off. We're going to get them all destroyed. Um, you guys can stop. Oh, well, you probably should have remained attacking there, actually. Because, <laughs> yeah, they're about to break out. Alright, so I don't know where you guys are going, but instead, come on over here. Let's go ahead and take that promise because it's wide the fuck open. And let's go ahead and bring all you guys over here as well. Come help us out. Alright, let's have you guys um, come on over here. Need more troops over here. And, yeah, the attack on Berlin did not go well. Alright, well, that's that's a shame. Send more troops in. They, they know what it is. They know if we take Berlin, it's over. Uh, so they're going to protect that city. Uh, probably pretty hardcore. All right, what did we do over here? Did we get this finished up? Let's attack those guys. And we're gonna pull these guys out, have them wrap that up, and then they'll come over here and attack there, just in case they're not done yet. All right, so it's looking pretty good. Um, we can go ahead and attack there and here. And he's attacking with that tank unit, that's fine. Let's have all you guys here attack that way. Maybe we'll get another route to attack Berlin. We're gonna go ahead and take that province there. It does look like we have some troubles here. They're attempting to 
Come take some provinces here. That's really not that big of a problem, actually, now that I think about it. Let's just have... Let's have you guys go over here. Alright, and then you're gonna attack right there. Keep on in that keep that attack going on those troops. And then we're gonna have those guys be line, be line towards that victory point just in case. <sighs> Berlin takes forever, because that's what it's doing right now. It's taking forever. Alright, so almost got these guys finished up here, and then we'll have to be able to have these troops focus on that attack right there. And it does look like they were able to do something there. Strange as that is. Alright, that's fine. Um, oh, there's more divisions assigned over here. God damn it. Stop assigning troops over here. Don't need any more divisions. I got it. Those two can do the, Do it. They just need to do their jobs. Alright, let's have them attack over here. Let's have... Well, he's currently fending, so he's not able to do anything. That's fine. Uh, let's go and have these guys attack right there. Come on, make it happen. Uh, Berlin is currently cut off. Uh, it's only got those two divisions, and I think it's about over, guys. Yeah, this is, this is a wrap. Alright. Very good news. Let's go and attack there. I don't know what you guys are doing, but stay over here. You're going to attack. Oh, yeah, you can move right there. That's fine. And you guys can attack this way. And more divisions are getting assigned over here. <laughs> Damn you. Come on over here. Just attack Berlin. That's what matters. So these guys are tempted to break out. Um, actually, let's go and have those guys come on over here. Try and stop them. All right. So I should have them destroyed. All right, so I'm just gonna send them over here anyways. No, 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 actually, these guys can do it. Come on. All right, so German Reich has capitulated. There we go. Fantastic, Civil War is over. A lot of fun, guys. I always love these contained Civil Wars. I enjoy them a lot. And I find this one to be even funner than the Spanish one. I'm surprised the Spanish one hasn't taken off yet. Usually it does. Uh, seems to be taken off earlier and early. So the German Reich has capitulated. All right, awesome. So we are done. So I'm not gonna. I'm actually not gonna do anything with these divisions just yet because it's, let's wait until we actually get the the event that fires ends all this for reals. And I want to say, I don't know, I'm not gonna say that because I hope I could be speaking out of my ass because I don't really remember that well. Uh, so Hitler found dead. With the capture of Berlin, our troops discovered the corpse of Hitler in a bunker in the city. Choosing death overseeing anti-fascist elements take over the country, the leader evidently took his own life rather than risk capture. In his stead, Heinrich Himmler has now stepped up to lead Nazis, and he's already affirmed that the government will not abate in the fight against anti-German treason. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are done for already. <laughs> Just saying. All right, there we go. We officially got that done. So, um, what, I, what I was going to say is I want to say that you lose these divisions. All, like all the ones that have this name here. The Lands... Once again, Land... Landsturm Regiment? Yeah, I think you, you lose those with an event. I don't know. I could be misremembering misrem misrem those, so... Yeah, I don't want to say that that's the, the case. Let's just wait. I think an event fires or something. There we go. I think I think it has something to do with this. Um, so, German Civil War ends. The Civil War that has racked Germany has now come to an end. Uh, the fighting was extraordinarily intense, with fanatical resistance by the Nazis causing devastation on a scale reminiscent of the Great War. It appears Hitler is dead and the Nazi leadership in prison or executed. The provisional government has now announced that it is necessary to secure their hold over the state and ensure the return of stability to the nation, before there can be any thought of embarking on a process of constitutional reforms. Let the rebuilding begin. Uh, Nazi leadership captured. At long last, we have freed our country from the grip of our enemies, and those loyal citizens who rose up to support our cause may now finally return to their homes. As a nation, we may begin the long and arduous process of rebuilding our nation. The country's leadership, that's a lot of nation, and uh, I guess it's two, but still, it's one too many. The country's leadership, in turn, is free to begin looking ahead at what might come in the future, democracy or a return to the old monarchy. One last thing remains to be taken care of, however. With the end of the Civil War, our troops have managed to capture a large group of the Nazi leadership. Now there only remains the decision of what to do with the, this unsavory part of our recent history. So we can hang them. It's going to gain us some stability. Uh, we're going to lose popularity in fascism, which is a good thing, obviously. Uh, and then it deletes yeah, the Landstorm Regiment. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Uh, or we can imprison them for life and make them useful in the future. Because it's political power. And increases the fascist support. Hmm. Well, let's just do stability. Stability is pretty useful, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do stability, guys. Let's just hang them. And frankly, I want to lose fascism support, and yeah, I think we should hang them. 
I just want to hang him, really. That's what it comes down to it. All right. So we did lose all those visions. That's what I was afraid of, guys, right. uh, that we'd lose all those. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, we'll just throw them all into one army or something. Um, ah, we can keep on one in two different armies. It's, that's absolutely fine. Uh, so what we're going right. to do is let's go and create two separate fronts here. Just one onto the French border. And then the Red Army, we won't give them a front, I don't think. I mean, we could put them on the Polish front. We'll just we'll just watch them, the Poles and the Czechs, and we'll just put these guys in the capital for right now. And uh, then we're going to train these guys all up. So, you know, let's get them on their, their fronts first. And, oh yes, we should probably change our division designs up, obviously. Uh, we're going to want to make some adjustments here. Can Do we have enough to change it to 20 width? Or 40 width, excuse me. I don't know, guys. Let's take a look. See if we can't do this. I don't know why I went to that. Right, artillery. 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 Alright, so we need more infantry. We're doing alright. We might be able to get it done. Just might. Do we have the... We don't have the sport stuff yet. Okay. Let's go and do infantry. And infantry. So that leaves us at 36. One more. And that's exactly the right amount. Because uh, we need to leave two open for the anti-tanks. Uh, we'll put an anti-tank there and an anti-tank right there. And that'll be good to go. Yeah, I like this. This will work out nicely. Um, obviously, I need to get more stuff for them there. Uh, let's go and save it. And we are already at... Oh, yes. Uh, and I forgot to bring this up. We need names, guys. We need names for our troops. Good old German names. Non-Nazi German names. Uh, for our infantry divisions, our light tank divisions. I guess our motorized will probably use them. Uh, I just tend to use tanks instead of motorized. Because, um, you know, tanks use motorized anyways. Obviously, our mountain troops need a name. And our cavalry troops need a name. So... Uh, just post your suggestions down in the comments, and we'll pick the best names for those division designs. All right, so this is they're all going to lose experience. We're going to let them lose their experience real quick, and then we'll, we'll get them training. Because I don't know how much experience they'll lose. All right, and probably a lot of they're probably going to lose a lot. All right, let's take a look. Uh, so far, only one guy needs to train. I'm going to put him into. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll just do. We'll just do like a little training army here. And we do have the manpower to start uh, building some divisions as well. But we don't have the equipment. Equipment situation is bad. Yeah, we're not in a great place. Well, what we could do is reduce the support a little bit and put some more into the artillery. And yeah, I think that'd be helpful. Uh, maybe reduce motorized as well and put that into infantry equipment. Yeah, that's what we'll do for right now. Uh, we do need to change up. Our trading situation as well. Back to trading for rubber, unfortunately. All right. Yeah, that looks good. Let's all go right. ahead and get all these uh, troops training that need training. All right, and then we'll train. All right, and I know we're going to have more troops that are going to need it, but we'll wait until they actually lose that experience before we do so. All right, some all right it's probably going to be all the infantry. I was hoping that wasn't going to be the case. That's why I didn't do this immediately. It looks like uh, Ethiopia has already lost to Italy. I guess already. I guess they held out for a long time. I said already. Like, they didn't do a good job. They did a splendid job. All right, so we're going to train our troops up. That's going to give us a bit more army experience, which is nice. Uh, we'll be able to uh, uh, probably add those what support company, the field hospitals. We'll be able to get the support hospitals as soon as we get them then. Uh, put them into our infantry. All right, what do we want to get next? Excavation. Try to make use of the resources that we have here. Uh, so now that we have the Civil War done, uh, we're going to go ahead and get our, our uh, port built out. Figure out what port we want to send our troops to. Uh, we're not going to build it out, but we will uh, send them there, our uh, ships. Everybody's coming here, which means we're going to want to assign all of our ships to there. That's where we're going. Although we'll probably move the submarines somewhere else, actually. Yeah, let's move the submarines over here. All right. Looking good. So, you may be wondering, when the hell is this episode going to end? It's going to end now, guys. It's going to end now. I just wanted to get the Civil War done with. Uh, and we do want to secure the new state, clamp down fascism. I forgot we got that clamp down fascism. So, getting that fascist support wouldn't have been that big of a deal because we slowly lose it. And we get stability from this as well and political power. All right, awesome. So, let's go ahead and take care of that. All right, so I think that is a excellent place to end the episode. We have finished up with the Civil War. Uh, we have won. We have prevailed. Uh, the Nazis have been defeated. Uh, and then we're going to have to make the choice to reestablish free election, to revive the Kaiserreich. And, of course, we already know what we're going to be doing. We're going to be reviving the Kaiserreich. Uh, so that should happen very soon. Uh, it's got uh, two national focuses in between us and the restoration of the monarchy. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Uh, like I said, I always love 
starting a new campaign. It's a it's a blast, uh, and so I'm happy you guys are joining me on this. Um, hopefully, it should be a fun and entertaining experience. Uh, as far as what we're gonna be doing, it's kind of open, guys. That's what's the nicest plan is. Uh, uh, the Kaiser Reich here is that we're really open which which route we want to go what we want to do We can take a look at what everybody else is doing. Uh, they're doing infantry advancement. They're strengthening the Polish state Soviet Union is doing the great purge the Yugoslavia is expanding their mining industry uh, They're doing war games with the Hungarians the Romanians are doing national defense industry uh, the Italians triumph in Africa France Navy focus shadow scheme in the United Kingdom British Raj are integrating princely railways the China, Chinese are doing a real reconstruction movement. Uh, Army modernization, army expansion law, Department of Supply and Development, Defender Lands. What's the United States doing? They're doing? They don't have anything yet. Canadian Pacific Railway. Just kind of getting a good idea of whatever he's doing right now. Infrastructure effort. All right, I think that's all the countries with the... With their own focuses, I could be wrong. I might have missed one or two, but it's fine, guys. So if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content that we put up. Go check out some of the other videos they put up if you are primarily looking for strategy. A lot of the stuff we've been putting up right now uh, is you know from different genres. However, we do have a lot of strategy overall on the channel, and of course, uh, we've got a ton of Hearts of Iron. So if you want to see another Hearts of Iron series, there's definitely something for you to watch. Like I said, I think we've got like 15 campaigns or something like that uh, so you should be able to find one in case you don't want to wait for the daily episodes that we put up here i do put up one episode a day um every day except monday although there will be one this monday whenever i start a new series i do put it up on that following monday but every monday after this next one there will not be any episodes because i work all day on sunday so i don't have any time to record anything get stuff ready for the following day uh, make sure you leave a comment uh, comment on where you want the campaign to go. Comment on some of our troop names here if you have any suggestions. Uh, overall, I just love talking to you guys. That's uh, one of my favorite parts of this. I read and reply to all comments. Uh, and then all that stuff, those likes and those comments, do help with the search engine so that people can find this video. Obviously, a lot of YouTubers play Germany. So, you know, it helps with the search engine. If you're enjoying this, you know, other people can, can find it as well. All right, so that's going to be it. I will see you tomorrow on Sunday as we continue our Return of the Kaiser Germany campaign. Thanks for watching, guys.